As we continue to report on the numbers from the testing lag, we take a look at the real people who are waiting on results. 17's Karen Waugh spoke to a local mother today to hear about her experience in quarantine. During this pandemic, we're learning to live with a lot of gray areas. Do you have to quarantine while you're waiting for test results? What if they take weeks? If you live with someone who tests positive, how exactly do you isolate from them? Do you have to quarantine too? Yeah, there wasn't much I could do. I felt helpless. Jeanette Limonis got tested July 3rd when she found out she was exposed to a COVID positive neighbor. After two weeks and no results, she marched back to her urgent care to demand answers. They said that there was a problem, a mishap with the labs, lab corp, and that they no longer work through them and everybody from that day on July 3rd had to be retested. She finally got her results this past Sunday, 16 days after first being tested. I, you know, wanted to know my results to see if my kids were at risk. And yeah, that was nerve wracking. The CDC recommends you stay home and stay away from household members while you're waiting for test results. But for Jeanette, with two kids, complete quarantine was not possible for 16 days. We have a small apartment. It wasn't doable for the most part. You know, I couldn't move or, you know, I couldn't get in a bigger home. I couldn't leave them. They're young. Fortunately, she tested negative. But for those who test positive, the CDC has a few recommendations for people who live in the same home. They say use a separate bathroom and bedroom and keep them out of common spaces like the kitchen or living room. Avoid sharing items like utensils, bedding, clothing, and electronics. Wear gloves while you disinfect often. Don't have visitors over. You should both wear masks if you come close to each other, and you should stay home for two weeks even after they've finished their two weeks of quarantine. But for parents like Jeanette, especially in small homes, many of these guidelines are difficult to follow. If I was positive, my next steps would have been to get them tested, which I would require me getting in the car with them and taking them to get tested. Now the CDC has more instructions on how to clean your home and isolate yourself if someone in your household tests positive. We'll link that to the story on our website, KGET.com. In Bakersfield, Karen Waugh, 17 News.